Hi everyone. So today we are going to look at trigonometry and to begin with we are going to start by looking, uh, looking at the basics of trigonometry and uh, I would like first to show you how to, uh, how to find uh, the solutions of special angles special angles, when you talk of special angles I mean we are talking about 0, 0 degrees we are talking about 30 yeah then we are talking about 45 and then ab apart from 45 there is also 60 then apart from 60 we have also 90 so these are the special angles that we are going to look at today so how do you find uh, let's take for instance you've been given sine uh, uh, sine sin 90 so if you if let's say for instance somebody tells you to find uh, the sine of and i'll just write sine theta this side you've been told to find sine 90 what could be your answer it would probably take you take you a little bit of some time in order to find that answer but i'm going to show you the quickest way of getting the answers getting such answers yes let me just erase this okay so we continue So now we can continue. Yeah. So we will start first by writing numbers from zero up to four. So I will write zero there. I will write one. I will write two. I will write three. And I will write four here. So after this, I'm going to square all the numbers. The square root of this, I will also find the square root of 2, square root of 3, square root of 4. So I'm doing it very slow so that everyone can understand. So we find the answers after square, square root in this. We're going to have our answer here 0. The square root of 1, you get 1. The square root of 2, you definitely get the same root 2. This is an irrational number the square root of 3 it's also an irrational number you leave it like that and then the square root of 4 this one will give you 2 so from there what you do is you quickly do a divide by 2 all the numbers so I'll divide by 2 the, this side I'll also divide this one by 2 I'll also divide this by 2 I'll also divide root 3 by 2 I also divide this by 2 and now from there what we do is uh, we will find the answers so 0 divided by 2 I will definitely get a what a 0 there and then 1 divided by 2 this is a fraction so so what 1 over 2 and then root 2 divided by 2 that is an irrational number so I'll, also, I'll just write it like that yes root 3 divided by root 3 root 3 divided by 2 I'll also write it the way it is and then root 2 divided by root 2 I'll get a 1 there so here these are the most important numbers that we wanted to get so I will, rel I will rewrite these special numbers on top of these numbers the same numbers which I have here 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 I will write them there so I have 0 there I will have 30 these are angles I have 45 on top of these numbers and then I will have 60 there another 60 there sorry and then I'll have 90 
here. So now, I will write sine theta there. So this is sine theta. So this is sine theta. So when you look at these numbers, when I say sine 90, I'll quickly have my answer is 1. Sine 60, this is the answer. Sine 45, this is root 2 over 2. And then sine uh, 30, I'll get 1 over 2. Then sine 0, definitely get a 0. So instead of you wasting time to start thinking, it's better immediately you enter the exam room, you write this very quickly. And then I'll also do what? Let me do this in order not to confuse any one of us. I don't want to get confused. Okay. I'll write it like this. Yes. All right. So what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to re rewrite these same numbers, but the way I'm going to write them, this zero will be this side. I'll begin with writing a zero this side, then followed by this one over two, or just like interchange them, and then followed by this root two over two, and then of this one follows there root 3 over 2 and then lastly I'll write the one that said this one I've just like swapped the numbers yeah so this one is for course you can try this on the calculator you still find the same answers so this one is for cos theta so when you look at cos 90 you get a 0 cos 60 you get an you get half Cos 45, you get that. Cos 30, you get this. Then cos uh, 0, you get 1. So now, we'll move on to tan. We'll move on to tan. Tan theta. So this is, this is how you make up a simple table. Uh, this is how you master the trig ratios. So if you can, if you can manage to, to come up with this table immediately, you enter the exam room you will not get any questions on trigonometry wrong because sometimes you might solve a question but when but when uh, answering the the what the, when finding the answer for a certain or a particular um, uh, question you tend to get it wrong not because you didn't know how to solve it but because you didn't know the value or yeah the value for the what for the answer let let's say for instance you have sine 90 at some point instead of writing one you write zero you get the question uh, wrong so we move on to tan theta so for tan theta is a little bit uh, it's it, it's a little bit uh, challenging but if you know how to solve uh, fractions it's very easy so what we'll do is we all know to say uh, tan, we all know to say tan theta on identities. I'm sure you've learned about identities. We know, all know to say tan theta is equal to, sorry, let me just erase this, okay. Tan theta, we know to say tan theta is equal to, is nothing but sine. We know that tan theta is nothing but sine theta over cos yeah over cos theta so we know to say tan theta is nothing but uh, sine theta over cos theta so what i'm going to be doing is this let me just move this down just hope it's going to move has moved I thought it will not move so I'll just move it a little bit down there okay let me even put it this side okay I'll do this all right this is good it's good wow so 
so now we can continue so we I know that tan theta is nothing but uh, sine theta over cos theta so what I'm going to do is if I want to get let's take for instance I want to get uh, tan 90 tan 90 according to what we said we said tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta so I'll just be dividing tan 90 is, is equal to what tan 90 is equal to 1 which is sine 90 over cos 90 meaning it is 1 over 0 what is 1 over 0 we all know that any number divided by 0 you you get a what infinite it's undefined and then you want to get tan 60 tan 60 is a sine 60 over cos 60 which is just the same as saying root 3 over 2 divided by um, 1 over 2 when you divide these numbers you get the root of 3 and then you also go on on turn 45 turn 45 when you divide this number and that number you get a 1 and then you come to turn 30 turn 30 you divide the half uh, divide by this you get what wait here we said root 3 over 2 yeah okay so when we divide the half divide by this you get 1 over the root of 3 and then when you divide the uh, when you want to get tan 0 which is 0 over 1 the answer here will give us what 0 so this is how you get there so the, uh, the solution or this is how you come up with the table for for, for 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 the solutions of uh, uh, three ratios uh, pertaining uh, uh, pertaining uh, special angles. So this is how you come up with the table. So simple, very simple. You just need to know it. Yeah. So this is how you come up with the table. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel for more videos. I'll make sure that any questions that you ask, I'll be posting the solutions as early as possible. Yeah. So just make sure that you sub subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, don't forget. Wow. So this is how you get the table now. This is the final table. You want to you want to calculate you want to calculate sine sixty uh, sine ninety you get one sine sixty start sine forty five you get that so once you just know to say firstly you what you write the special angles on top you write the numbers one zero one up to four and then you you square root all the numbers you get the answers after getting the answers you divide all the numbers by two and the answers that you get those are the solutions for sine. Thank you very much for watching the video. Make sure that you don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos and for more solutions to come. Thank you very much.